we we're talking about love. There is uh, a need for me to talk about my country, Nigeria, and about the uh, Benue killing. Many people think that I am insensitive, and some people might have think that might have thought or might be thinking that I'm wicked, or some people might be thinking that I am callous, just because of my position regarding the headsmen. Now, let me be able to make clear my position again. What I am saying is not that what the headsmen are doing is good. Of course, it's evil what they are doing. But I will not allow their evil to make me evil. That's the point I'm making. And that's the point I'm trying to make to my countrymen. That the evil of the evil men should not make us evil. Any action demands a reaction. What I'm addressing is the question of reaction. I am trying to say that no matter what evil happens, no matter what horrific things have happened, my reaction must never be in terms of evil, just like, or anger, or anything negative, anything devoid of love. If you press, if you take uh, an orange, an orange, or, or one orange fruit, orange fruit, and you 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 squeeze you you cut it and squeeze it, it is only orange that will come out of it. That is why I'm responding the way I'm responding. I have become one with love. I have discovered the God of love. Even though I'm bitter, I'm angry, I am um, broken by what has happened in Benue and what is happening in Nigeria in general. But what I'm trying to say that is that the problem with Nigeria is not just the Benue situation. The problem with Nigeria for me the, is pathetic all through and through. And the killing is horrific. But not just the Benue killing. The Kaduna killing is as horrific as well. And um, the Niger Delta uh, kidnapping is also horrible. S but all these things are generating another horrible thing. They are giving birth to a monster. And what is the monster that these things are giving birth to? They are giving birth to the monster of anger. They are giving back to the monster of hatred, suspicion, bigotry, nepotism. It is that that I'm trying to prevent that no matter how much evil is happening around us, evil or that is being perpetrated by evil men should not give birth. We should not allow the evil things that are happening to impregnate us with monsters. We should not allow ourselves to become um, mannequin or what is it? Mannequins? Is what they call mannequins? Yeah, mannequin in the hand of evil, or what they call sugar? What they call it? Uh, sugar uh, figurehead or what they call it? We shouldn't allow the evil that is being perpetrated by evil men to dictate our reactions and our behavior. Our behavior and our response, our feelings, our actions, our responses should not be dictated by the evil of the evil men. We shouldn't become a puppet. We shouldn't become a puppet, puppet in the hands of the evil people without even us knowing that we have become puppets. If anybody could dictate your anger, if everybody could enforce anger upon you or make you to respond in a, in, with anger, with hatred, with, it means they have dominion over you. It means that the people who are doing the evil that you say you are hating, they are the ones that are controlling your emotions. You are not in charge anymore. You have lost it. That is what I'm trying to teach my people. That even though all horrible things have happened, 
we should still remain Christians. And our response must still be Christian. What has happened has happened. Somebody is saying, but you are not pathetic. You are not uh, empathic about it. You are after me being empathic in feelings. But I want to go beyond feelings. And you all will hear of my reactions. You all will hear of my, of my, of my decisions and my reactions soon. I don't just want to do what everybody is doing. Just talking feelings, talk, talk, talk. That is bordering on opportunism. And that is bordering on empty talk. I don't just want to talk. I want to come with solution. Both to the victims. But I don't see victims as only in Benue. I don't see victims as only uh, what has happened in the, uh, the southern uh, Kaduna. I see victims all over Nigeria. The whole of Nigeria is a victim situation. Both of, of the government, but of the, of, the, of the lack of law and not and of the evil that is being perpetrated in the country. We must fix the whole Nigeria. That is my concern. And pray that God will give you long life. Once God gives you long life, at least another 10 years or 5, 10 years, you will begin to see my response. But my response is not going to be condemning and emotions and just speaking. You will see constructive response. And I hope that by the grace of God, even though everybody is condemning me now and thinking that I, um, I don't have feelings, I, I'm not sympathetic, I am wicked, I am callous, let them say that. They have their day now. But when I come with my own decisions and response, and when the response and the, the, the solution will be visible, then I hope they will remember what they have said now and be able to change their minds. But let's remain Christians no matter what. So this topic borders on this thing that I'm talking about because what I'm talking about today is love loves at all times. You mean when they are killing your family people, you still love? Yes. You mean if they are killing, if you about if they kill your family members, your wife, they rape your daughter or your wife, you will still love? Yes. What about if they kill you too? You will still love? Yes. Love loves at all times. If we say we are Christians and the Islamic jihadists are killing us, do we still need to love those jihadists? Yes. What about the terrorists, the Boko Haram, the ISIS? Do we still need to love them? Yes. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't stop them. That doesn't mean we shouldn't stop the evil. I am for stopping the evil, but loving the evildoer. And what I'm saying doesn't mean to love the jihadists and to love the terrorists and to love the Muslims. To me, doesn't equate leave them to do anything they want. No, that means act by law and order. That means stop the evil and bring it to justice, but still love the evildoer. That's what it means to me. And when it comes to me, I'm going to bring solution by the grace of God to the Nigerian situation, not just to the victims, the ones that are killed, but I'm also going to bring solution and help to the ones who are killing. Now, it might not be clear what I'm saying, it might not be understandable, and it might not be fathomable to a Nigerian mind or to a Nigerian Christian, but this is the Christianity that I've come to know. That I've come to believe in. This is the Christ and the God that I've come to know. And it is this God that makes sense to me. And I'm going to, either you people believe or you don't believe, you don't need to believe. But, by the grace of God, sooner or later, I will be able to prove to Nigerians and to the rest of the world that love wins. And that the love is the only force that can win over evil. Not darkness overcomes darkness. Not hate a overcome hatred it is only love that can overcome hatred it is only love that can overcome darkness it is only love that can overcome evil i believe it and i'm going to practice it so the topic of today is love if we believe in love that love must be powerful enough to love at all times if we really believe in love, then we have to believe that love conquers at the end of the day. 
Today I had a I had a I had an interview with a, a, a program we called Conversation with an Atheist. Um, he said it's not an atheist, but it's uh, agnostics. But you know, Conversation with an Atheist—that's the name of the program. And I quoted the words of Napoleon, uh, Napoleon, the former emperor of uh, France. And what he said is this. That all great men, Genghis Khan and uh, Alexander the Great, and all great men that have ever conquered the world, conquered the world only by the power of the sword. Power of the sword. Hatred, killing, maiming, hatred, evil, including Islam. But there is only one man. That has, able to, that has been able to do the same thing, conquered the world, and exceeded every other man that has ever conquered the world. And been able to do more, conquered more territory, more land, and control the hearts of men, the whole world, without the power of the sword, but with the power of love. That is Jesus. Now, you remember that Roman Empire killed Jesus. Roman Empire was responsible for the death of Jesus. But that same Roman Empire was conquered. In the next, in the next 200 years, that same empire, the greatest empire that has ever been built is the Roman Empire. The greatest, the, the most powerful empire, the most lasting empire, that has ever existed is Roman Empire. One, almost 1,000 years it existed. And this empire killed this man that brought the message of love. But that same empire fell at the feet of this same message of love. It took 200 years, but that same empire was brought to our feet. And this doctrine of love, this message of love, became dominant and took total control of Roman Empire. And the followers of Jesus that was killed, that Jesus that was killed, his followers became rulers of that old empire that killed their founder. <laughs> what does that mean? Love wins at the end of the day. Love will always win. Either it is in geopolitical questions and issues like what i've just given you example of or in little things in little matters love always wins and love will always win anger never does anything good hatred never go far responding in being sentimental and being temperamental and just you know sentiments and hatred and anger and bigotism bigotry those things don't last long and they don't do anything good but love brings lasting solution and changes the world for better it is the most potent power that's possible of changing any evil to good and that is the side that i stand in that is my position that is where I, that's my that's where i belong and i am on the side of love and by the grace of God, before I die, love will win in Nigeria. If I'm not going to use the same method. I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to act the way Christians in Nigeria are acting. No. They are not my authority to me. Examples that Christian leaders are giving in Nigeria, the way Christians are responding in Nigeria, for me, they, they are not authority to me. Don't expect me to respond the way Nigeria is, Nigerians are responding. I will not. If you say because of that I'm wicked, so be it. If you say because of that I am um, uh, apathetic, so be it. But God knows my heart. And my, soon you will soon know my actions. But you will, I want to show and, uh, and uh, demonstrate a new response. That might not be popular now. But believe me, this my response of love is what is going to remain standing. When all, all others are long gone and forgotten, love again will win, even in Nigeria.
If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button and the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let's know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram, and every other platform that you have. All right? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much. Peace.